stops for no one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm gonna show you which makeup products to put on your 2024 wish list. Let's roll the intro. The first product I recommend you get in 2024 is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It comes in this beautiful packaging and it has a doe foot applicator. It looks like this and it works good on its own as a foundation or you can put it beneath your foundation or even as a highlighter. So it's very versatile and I definitely recommend you get this. I've put the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on and you can see how glowy it makes my skin look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now the second product I recommend you get is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blur Plus Smooth Tint Stick. I'm using shade one. It comes as a stick and you just roll it up. As you can see, I've used a lot of product already because I love it so much. And it just glides on so easily. I like to do it in triangles. And it is just my favorite foundation of the year. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then the next product that I recommend is the Ecotan brushes. It comes with these brushes and I'm going to use the foundation brush right now. And so this is brush eight, the foundation brush. And it just allows your product to just sink in to your skin so nicely. I love these brushes, they're vegan as well. And they come with, let me see, 12 brushes. So I think it's a pretty good bundle. So I've already put on concealer, but I wouldn't recommend the concealer that I have for your 2024 wish list. So I'm going to skip over that. And now I'm going to show you my favorite bronzer of the year, which is the Nude 6 Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronzer in shade Bondi Bay. But obviously you get the shade that matches your skin tone. And so I can just put it like this. I draw a little line. And then I pu also put it on my nose as a contour. So I'm going to skip over contour today and just use this. Then I'm going to go under and on my forehead. Then the next product I recommend that you get is a beauty blender. I love these things. I've gone through at least like 10 already and I always keep on repurchasing them. So if you don't have a beauty blender, I definitely recommend you get one. As you can see, it just like melts the product into your skin. It's so amazing. Oop, my hair is going everywhere. <laughs> um just patting it in. Maybe I'm gonna use the bigger side now. And just blend it in. Now I'm gonna blend in the other side. It just warms up the skin immediately. It's so beautiful. And I definitely recommend you get some products from Nude Sticks because I love this brand. Also, just saying I'm not sponsored by anything today. So these are all my honest opinions. And now I'm going to blend in my nose. And as you can see, it just leaves it looking sharp and gorgeous. The next product I recommend you get on your 2024 rush list is the Rare Beauty blush this is in shade encourage and this may be like one of my favorite products of all time it is so pigmented so maybe go a little light on it i just do two dots a little separated apart and then on the nose and it just gives the best coverage that i've ever had with a blush and it's such a pretty color my only 
downside with it is that I don't have more colors of it. I only have the one shade. But it's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's just like rosins, rosins, rosies. It gives a rose color to my face, basically. Not with rosins. Yeah. And then I blend it up into the cheekbones and um, to the temple and make sure the nose is pink. Now, I don't have a favorite highlighter to show you, so I'm gonna do that in my own time. And then I'm going to show you the best setting powder that you should put on your 2024 wish list. The best setting powder that I've used and what I recommend that you put on your 2024 wish list if you don't have it already is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in shade Pound Cake or whatever shade that you want to get. I just use this one because I have quite fair skin. And I'm going to go back with the Eco Tan Brushes. This is powder brush 12 and I'm going to go over my face like this and it just blurs everything and then I'm going to use a little powder not a powder uh spongy thingy it's a powder puff it's a powder puff and then i'm going to uh get some like this and just pat it under my eye and as you can see like the difference it's gorgeous so i definitely recommend this powder this loose powder I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because I don't have a favorite eyebrow product this year, but then I'm going to show you my favorite eyeshadow palette of this year. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 6, and this is such a gorgeous palette that I definitely recommend you put on your 2024 wish list. These are the colors that you get inside, and it also comes with a mirror. Aren't those colors beautiful? And I sometimes use the black shade to do my eyebrows, but I haven't done that today. And it comes with beautiful glitters at the top, and then the rest of them are matte, except for D3, which has a little bit of shimmer. It's an orange shade. But today I'm going to do um, a pink look with my Eco Tan brushes again. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush, which is the eyeshadow brush, 7. And I'm going to use D4, this color. And I'm just going to apply it on the crease of my lid. I don't have a favorite eyeshadow primer. I've tried a few, but none of them have really caught my attention. But if I do find an eyeshadow primer that I absolutely love, I'll definitely recommend it to you. So I'm just going to put this all over my crease, I guess. My eyelid, blending it up. And the same for this eye. I'm trying to match my top today, which I really like. Nice. And now I'm going to use D5, this color, and make it a bit deeper, just in the outer corner, just to add some depth. Nice. And I'm going to apply D2 with a flat eyeshadow brush. This is number six. So D2, this one. And the outer corner like this. And the same for the other eye.
and then D3, the shimmery orange color in the inner. corner of my eyelid. Oh, that looks so pretty. Now I'm going to go back with D4 and go under my eye with it. So just a very quick eyeshadow look today that matches my top. Now I don't have any favorite false lashes, so I'm gonna do that off camera, but I do have a favorite false lash glue, which is the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. It's this one. So I'm gonna be using this on my false lashes. I have two favorite lip liners this year. The first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Lip Liner Set. It comes with these colors. I think I'm missing one of them. And the other goes to the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0. Today I'm gonna use this one because this matches my look better and it's in shade Vivid Pink. And it glides on very nicely. It's a roll-up one, whereas the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners are sharpening ones, but it comes with a sharpener. I've just also lost that. And It's just such a vivid pink. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what it's called. It's so pretty. For my favorite lipstick, I have to give it to the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in shade Rendezvous, but you can get any colors you want, as I've said throughout this video, but it's such a creamy formulation, and you can see that I've used it a lot. <laughs> uh, so pretty. Now for my favorite setting spray. Well, it's not technically a setting spray, but I use this at a, as a setting spray. This is the Naked Sunday's Hydrating Glow Mist Top Up Spray, and it has SPF 50. And I just spray some over my face, and it sets everything in, and now I'm protected from the sun. So those have been my favorite products of 2023, and the products I recommend you get in 2024. I think these are timeless products and can make you have a beautiful look like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for the next videos. Bye bye guys.